today I'm going to be doing another decluttering video and this time I am decluttering lipsticks. Um, a lot of you have been asking about this and it is really for me beyond time to declutter. I have a whole drawer here of lipsticks and then I have another drawer down here which is like filled all the way to the back with lipsticks and um, it's not that I'm like hoarding them, it's just I've been lazy and decluttering and I've just, you know, there's a lot of lipsticks in here that I honestly don't even use anymore and it's not that I want to hold on to them, it's just that I haven't taken the time to sort it and every time I get a new lipstick I just like throw it in here and then I just kind of forget about it. <laughs> so I want to avoid that, I really want to go through this collection and sort out the things that I really still enjoy. So over in here in the front I have quite a few sort of drugstore things. Um, these are the old Catrice lipsticks. I don't really use these to be honest and it's not that they're just like, you know, it's not that I don't use drugstore stuff, it's just I find that these ones are super, super slippery. It's a pretty color, but I just don't really wear this. Um, the only thing that I might keep is this color. This one's called Josephine's Joy because it's just like a really nice like mix of pink and red. So I'm gonna put this aside as a maybe. That was a limited edition anyway, but I think these ones I'm going to get rid of. And then the same with the P2. I really did enjoy these when they came out. Gonna get rid of this one for sure. This one I'm gonna put in the maybe pile for now. Um, this is a lipstick by, I think, Lancome, which has like glittery, sparkly stuff in there. So that's gonna go out. Another Essence one, which I haven't even bought that long ago. Actually, this is kind of interesting, like mauve color. This one is actually fairly recent. I think I just bought that like last fall. I mean, which I know is already a year old, but like it still smells totally fine and looks totally fine. So I think I will keep this. Here's some more um, Catrice ones, the Ultimate Stay. And these ones just are the Ultimate Not Stay. This was just a fail. I feel like these just do not stay, like they just slide around. So I'm going to get rid of those. This one is just looking weird. Ugh, I think this one's gonna go into the garbage. Can you see this? I don't know, it's just starting to look really, really dodgy. Yeah, that's gonna have to go in the garbage. <laughs> um, 129 by Barry M. This is kind of a unique color. This is gonna be a maybe because I honestly feel like I have a lipstick by MAC that is very similar to this. So I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. This one in Cranberry by Sleek is actually pretty nice. And then this one is a smold, this one's color is called Smolder and I actually really like this color, but it's really sort of a strange sheen to it. Like it's not super pigmented maybe then loved up again this is a sheen which means it's not super opaque although it looks actually really opaque so I might keep that and then there's this one called tangerine scream which is a really fun bright orange and I think I will keep this because it is really a cool color okay so then I have um, some lipsticks here by Barry M this is just this weird like Barbie pink like super light color I don't know this is a maybe I don't really have any colors like that so this is 147 I won't really wear that. It's kind of hard to twist up. I don't know if the mechanism is like broken. I think I'm just gonna throw this one in the trash. Revlon um, Color Burst lipsticks now. I think these were actually discontinued. I used to wear like the crap ton out of this color, but now honestly, these are just so ancient, like true red. And what is that one? Soft Nude. Oh, I wore this one a ton, but like it's starting to look kind of wonky, like it's broken, so. I think I might have to toss all of them. Yeah, it's just, I have to get rid of things that are like, you know, old and like smelly and gross. This one, cognac, I think that's a nice one. And I don't think that's um, old or anything, so I can keep this. These are by Smashbox. What is this? Electric pink. Oh, I actually really, really like this one. I haven't worn it in a while, but it's a really cool, nice pink tone. I'll keep this. Um, this one's called Tempt Me. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that is so gorgeous. Like, I didn't even know I had this color. Another one from the Revlon Color Burst. Uh, this is just so old. It's gonna have to go in the garbage. Um, some more Smashbox. Oh, this one I actually really like. It's a nice nude, honey. This one is really cool, although I think it's more like a sheer. Like, it's not super opaque, although I could make that opaque with a lip liner, but this one's gonna go in the maybe pile. There's another one called Black Cherry, which I think is kind of the same. Oh, that, that one's really nice, but yeah, it has kind of like a glossy and it's like broken and... Uh, 
think I might get rid of this one, but it's still usable, so I'll pass that on to somebody. And then I have this one. This is also the Be Legendary Punch Me Drunk Matte. I don't even know what this is. That's a really pretty color. It's like very pink and pretty. Another sort of pink. This is a matte. Oh, that's really nice again. Fireball, which is a bright orange. And I actually have worn this quite a few times. This is a really cool orange color. I have a lipstick here by NARS. This one's called Scarlet Empress. And I have worn this a ton. It's just this gorgeous, like, vampy, deep burgundy shade. By Inglot. Oh, this is a matte red. It's really pigmented, but it's really, really dry. Like, when you wear it, it's, like, so dry. It's sort of bluish red. So I think I will keep this one. I have another one by Barry Ann. This is, I think, the only really true black lipstick I have that's just, like, a lipstick. It's not a matte, like, a liquid lipstick. So I'll keep this definitely for Halloween stuff. And I have some Lancome lipsticks, which I just never use. I just don't like these ones. I think they have a funny taste and a funny flavor. Gosh, darling, oh my gosh. <laughs> This was all the trend. I think it's so old and it's like so nude. I don't know, this is a maybe, this is just like a cult classic that I might just keep for like memory's sake. Coo, that's another one of the P2 ones that's just like really, oh, this I have to throw in the garbage. These are just ancient. Then I have here by BU a lipstick. Oh, this is actually a really, really nice red lipstick. I'll just swatch that there. And I remember really enjoying this. So um, with fall coming up, I tend to wear a lot of red lipstick in the fall. Airy Fairy by Rimmel. This is ancient. This is going to garbage. Another Lancome lipstick that I won't wear. So I'll just get rid of this. And then the ultimate color. Ugh. Yuck. These are some really cool colors by the makeup store. This really awesome orange. But it's kind of similar to this. But... I've worn this a few times in videos, and every time I wear this color in videos, people ask me what it is. It's called Dare Matte. And then I have this one. This one's metallic yarn. It's kind of a, an orange as well, but it's more of like a sheen. But I know I won't really wear this, so I can toss this. And then Pout is a really nice, like, reddish pink, which I love. So I'll keep these two. Um, this color here is by Catrice, and I absolutely love this for fall. It's a really kind of dirtyish brown. Um, and then I have some of the Color Burst Lip Butters. I used to wear these a lot. I don't really wear them that much anymore. You know, I'm gonna put all three of those as a maybe because I might just get rid of them all together. Oh, there's another one of those lip butters. These ones by um, L'Oreal. I kept them, but I don't think I've ever worn these. So those are going to sort out. And then I have over here some more the Whisper Color Whispers by Maybelline. This is actually a really nice color. It's like a, just a nice sort of nude pink. I think I might keep this one. Drugstore Vintage Pink. Oh my God, I used to love this shade. This like mauve by Rimmel. I don't know why I haven't worn that in so long. I'm gonna put that as a maybe, I'm not sure yet. Um, those ones I just bought new. Those are by Maybelline. I just showed those in a recent haul. So I'm definitely keeping all of those. They're by the bold, like the bold lines. So I'm definitely keeping all of those. And then I have here some more drugstore ones. Oh, that's part of that one as well. Naked Brown, this is also by Maybelline. Um, I got it because it's just like a nice like brown lipstick, although it's not super brown. It has kind of like a purpley undertone. I think I might keep that one for now. And then the Vivids, I wear these a lot in the summer and I did wear them all in the summer. So I'm going to keep all of those because I do really enjoy those. Ella Masca. And there's definitely some here that I don't wear. Soaked is a nice orangey color. Oh, this color is just really... I remember trying to wear this once and it's just so patchy and like super dry. Yeah, I just won't wear this. I mean, I was thinking like for Halloween, but you can always use like a green lip liner on your lips for Halloween stuff. So I think I'll just get rid of this. Um, soaked, I'm keeping, and then Asp is a purple, but this purple is like, again, so not like smooth. Like look at how patchy this goes on and just not, I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of this one also. Then I have Luster, which is just a nice pink. Let's see what else I have. Oh, Disciple, I really like it. It's a navy blue. I don't have anything else like that, so I'm going to keep it. And I have worn that a few times. Posture, I didn't even know I had this. It's like this weird, like what? This quality of these lipsticks is just so terrible. Like look at this, it's just, they're so expensive, like I won't wear this. It's just the quality's not there. There's better stuff out there. Um, this is, what is this called? Sangers, oh I've worn these all 
all of these I think I'm keeping. What is this one? Fetish? Another one of these purples. Like the quality of this one's even worse. Like look at that. Out. I feel like their lipsticks are so hit and miss. Some of them are just lovely. Like this one's really nice. And some of them are just like shitty quality. Um, and then back here I have some more stuff. These are by Creolon. I've actually already gotten rid of a ton of Creolon lipsticks. They have that similar textural issues. There's kind of a, a nudie brown color. I just don't, I won't wear this. So can you get rid of that? And then what is this? A red, I have so many red lipsticks. That one's really pretty though. It's like a deep bluish red. And what's this last one? Again, this weird nudie. I think that might be the exact same color. I'm not sure. I think I get rid of this one also. So I'll keep these two. Clarins lipstick or Clarins. I think this is just a color that I will never wear. So that one's going out. I don't know if I'll wear this. Pink Berry, it's right here. It's just like this weird nondescript color. This one's a me. I feel like these colors are not really that me. I've worn that in, in summer, so I'll keep this one for sure. Okay, next up on this level, I actually have a ton of, these are all MAC lipsticks. Um, well, MAC, and then there's some uh, Urban Decay, and I have liquid lipsticks. These are by Anastasia. I don't think I'll be getting rid of any of those. Oh, this is this is gonna be the hardest part ever, because there's a lot of things in here that I was like sent that I don't really wear, um, but then other things, like I know I wear them all the time. So like the ones that I know I'll wear, I'm just going to take them out right away. Pink Nouveau, Show Orchid, Lady Danger, Brave. Like these colors, I wear them all the time. Chatterbox. Yeah, I'm keeping Chatterbox. Overrich, this is losing the, um, it's like a, a sheer orange. Like it looks really, really bright, but it's actually not even that bright. You know what, this I'm going to put in the maybe pile because I don't really wear that one a lot anymore. Like some of these I don't even know. Like some of them I know right away from the name what they are because I bought them, but the ones that were sent to me, I don't really know them all. Whirl, I haven't even like really worn this. So I have to make a point to wear that one. Are these all, all revealing? Oh, this is so, so, so old, but it's so pretty. Oh, but it smells really bad. Oh, I think this will have to go in the, um, Back to Mac pile. <laughs> okay, Tropic Tonic. This one is new-ish, so that's definitely gonna stay. No faux pas. This is also new-ish. And Silly. That's also really pretty. These are all pretty new. Gossamer Wings. Like, this is such a weird color. Like, it's just like a shimmer, although I have never really tried that as a topper, so I'll have to try this one out. And this one is Nippon which is a nice like pinky nude. I think I have worn this actually. This is one of the, like this was from the last summer, Tanorama. This is just like the weirdest. These could be like interesting toppers. I have to try these out, honestly. Like if I've tried them out and I don't like them, then I'll get rid of them, but I honestly haven't even tried them. Viva Glam, Miley Cyrus. Oh, I really like this one. It's like that orange one. And Lured In is that new purple, which is so much better than the, um, like, look, that is so much better than the one from Illamasqua. Cinderella, it's a nude. I think this has like collector item value. By the way, if you, that brown thing, it's like leftover henna from Morocco. So if you're wondering what that is, I think I'll keep that just the packaging, to be honest. Then I have here the Huggable. Oh, these ones are really pretty. This one, and I think this one, I've actually worn these quite a lot, the um, Huggable lip colors. They're actually really, really nice. And then I have a Sheen Supreme here, which I've honestly never, I don't know, this is a maybe. I don't think that's really a color that I would go for. Viva Glam, the Rihanna one is just so odd. Like who in their right mind would wear this? Maybe for Halloween looks. <laughs> Such a weird lipstick. I'll put that in the maybe pile. This one's really nice. I think this is called Tumble Dry, but this is a luster, so it's like not pigmented at all. I don't know, this is a maybe. This one, I just love the packaging so much. The Chris Chang limited edition, but this is like one of the worst lipsticks that MAC has ever come out. Like, look at the color. It's like this teal and you think, oh, it's so cool. And then like, look, look how it swatches. It's like, what? Like, it's so sheer and, but the packaging is so nice. I just love it for the packaging. So I'll keep it. Again, very, very sheer. God, I have so many sheer nudes. This one's called, Romantic Breakdown, it is a luster. Yeah, so maybe, not sure about that. Ariana Grande, the matte. This is one of those matte lipsticks that is just like, 
so not up to par with MAC standards, but I love the color, so I'm like willing to work with it, but the the consistency is really strange. Media, love media. This one got a little bit, like I don't know what happened there. I must have like closed it incorrectly. It's like a little bit broken, but color is awesome. Tribalist. Again, another sort of dark color. Oh, I like that. Labradoodle. Now, this one, I love the color. Like, it's just so pretty. But when you put it on, it, like, bleeds and runs everywhere. Like, it isn't consistent. Like, it's kind of, it, like, bleeds outside the line. I think I'm going to get rid of this, to be honest. Diva-ish. Pink. That's pretty. Myth. Love it. Uh, what is that? Pure Zen. I bought that myself. Um, 15 minutes. Love, love, love this one. Um... Self-aware, it's a weird kind of brown. I don't know, maybe I'll try that with fall looks. Angel, this is like one of my favorites, but I don't know if it's like really, really old. Oh, it's one of my favorite like nudie pinks, but it's starting to smell kind of strange. I might, you know what, I think I might have to back to back this. And then this is Cream Sheen Go For It. Oh my God, like what? Totally changed color. Okay, this I'm gonna have to back to MAC as well. Flattering, matte teen. I really like the quality of these matte teens. I wish they hadn't discontinued these, but um, Bombshell, this, I'd never wear this. It's like really weird, frosty, like 80s kind of color. Eh, back to MAC this one for sure. It's also pretty old. And How Tropical, another cream sheen. Very nude, but it's not really my color nude. It's just very sort of brown toned. It's like a little bit darker than Myth. I'll have to try that, to be honest. I don't think I've even worn it. Urban Decay, and I think I'm gonna keep all of those, to be honest, because I do like those a lot. And another cream sheen. What is this? No, this is the Mineralize Rich Style Surge. It's really pretty. Now over here, I have some palettes by Sleek Makeup. And I honestly never use these, so I'm going to toss those. Well, I mean, give them away. Um, the liquid lipsticks here, these are by um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm not gonna get rid of any of those because I really enjoy all of them. Random lipsticks, these are like all different brands. These ones by NYX, these are just so old. Like, I think these are gonna go right in the garbage. And then these ones were sent to me. The colors are nice, but they're just so slippery and they just don't stay put, the BE Creative Makeup. Oh, these two. There's two colors here. Also, this is by Une. I don't know, they're just super patchy. Eh, giveaway. The L'Oreal lipsticks. I can't stand the L'Oreal lipsticks, the color, the um, the scent. And then I have the all-in-one. These are by Manhattan. These are actually pretty cool for like drugstore lipsticks. I actually think they're pretty nice. Nova Lip Duo. Oh my God, this is ancient, like garbage. Then I have some of the um, Lime Crime lipsticks, which are really old, but I might, I wear them sometimes for Halloween because they're just unusual colors. Like for a tutorial where I just put it on and take it off, like they're kind of cool. Let me see how they smell. They still smell okay, to be honest. More L'Oreal stuff. Ugh, I just hate the flavor of it. JLo's Nude, it's just like a color I liked, but. And then I have some of the 14 hour, um, I think I bought this one because it was like, I didn't have any brownish lipsticks, so I bought that, but like, I don't think I'll wear this anymore, so I'll put this away. This one is a maybe, the Super Stay Maybelline. This is one of those like color lasting ones by L'Oreal. I'm just gonna toss that. Uh, and then I've got another one of these all-in ones. I actually really like this color. It's kind of like a nudie brown. That's by Manhattan. I think I'm gonna keep that. This I'm keeping, this I'm tossing. I have kept these for so long because I always thought I would use them and like I have never used them. They're the Lip Flashes by Milani. Like they're just really glittery kind of pencils, but I think I have actually worn this one. It's kind of like a chromey look. Yeah, I think I might have to keep them. This pencil thing by Maybelline. It's a cool drugstore product, but I have so many similar things that I probably won't really wear this. So I'm going to get rid of that. This by Kiko, I actually love it. It's like this chromey burgundy lip color. This is by BH Cosmetics. Really sort of dark, but I have so many similar colors like this, so I think I'll pass. And then this is going to get rid. This one is again like that chrome. It's like a chrome brown. That is so cool. It's like a chocolatey chromey brown. I will keep this for sure. Is there by BH? Like this one I haven't even opened, but. This one has to go in the garbage. This one I can give away because it's not even opened. 
this one I don't wear it it's like this weird like just a strange color so I'll put that in the actually that one's pretty old I'll put that in the garbage as well and then I have these ones by Smashbox and I actually wore these ones a lot but I think they're all pretty old this one by Sephora I might keep but this one's all pretty old it's the um, Smashbox Meta Mega Tint Longwear Lip Colors I did wear these quite a lot but um you know they're just old so I'm going to have to throw them in the garbage a lot of the stuff like I'm saying was sent to me so it's not like I'm just throwing away a bunch of money this I don't think I've ever worn it but ugh, that stinks garbage what is this another one of the mega tints it's gonna have to go in the garbage Clinique this is the bubblegum pop now I like the pop lipsticks a lot by Clinique, so I'm definitely gonna keep this one. My favorite lipstick by Giorgio Armani. Um, definitely keeping this, it's a red, and then this is also gonna go in the out. Velvet, uh, Rouge Edition Velvet. I used to wear these a ton, but I feel like these liquid, they're not really liquid lipsticks. They're like these moussey textures and they just look strange. So I think, you know, I'm going to get rid of these. I just don't like them anymore. Um, and then the Rouge Artist Intense. These are lipsticks by Makeup Forever. I'm keeping all of those because I love them a lot and I wear them a lot. Um, Manhattan, nah. It's a nude lipstick by Kiko, but it's like really sheer and I think this is just so old. I'm gonna have to get rid of this one too, which is actually really nice. I like that one a lot. It's like a baby pink. I'm gonna keep this one. The sheer color something. I have so many of these like sheer lipsticks that I just don't wear. I don't know, I'm not into sheer lipsticks. I'm gonna pass that on. I just won't wear it. This one, I love it. It's pale mauve. I thought it's Bordeaux. This one's pale mauve. I love this. It's one of my favorite nudes. This one's really nice too, Bordeaux. Great for fall. Keeping that. The Rouge Art is intense. Love that. The two melted. Those are pretty new by Too Faced. And then these ones, these are all by Bourgeois again. Pink Pong. I think. Like it's a really nice. I might keep this one. I think this is the only one that I'll keep from the those velvets because that color is really neat. But these ones are like. Yeah. I don't know, these Rouge Edition Velvets, I'm just not into them anymore. They sent me a bunch of these lipsticks and I don't know, I'm just like not really into, it. like they're nice, don't get me wrong, but I'm not into the colors that much. I think there was something I didn't like about them. I think it was the scent that I wasn't like crazy about, but oh, I have enough sheer. Ugh, get rid of the sheer ones, I don't wear sheer. Freaking lipsticks, I don't know, I'm just not a sheer gal. Oh, that one's nice. That one is not very sheer, so I'll keep this one. So I'm only gonna keep these four. All right, so these are the ones that I kept as maybes. Let's just um, quickly look through these ones again. Are these Clarins? I don't know, like they're just such gorgeous lipsticks, but the color is just not me. This is just not a me color. I'm gonna pass those on, I think, to my mother-in-law. I think they're more like, I don't know, I feel like Clarins is a little bit, like their color scheme is a bit more like older, you know what I mean? Pepto-Bismol pink is just, nah, it's just ugly. I'm just going to, toss that actually into the garbage because it's ancient. And then 37, oh, that was the black one. I wanted to keep that for Halloween stuff. Then I have the Overrich, this is so old. I'm just going to put this in the back to Mac. It's just so ancient. Okay, then I have the more of the sleek ones and Cran, I think I'm just going to get rid of the both of these to be honest, because they're both pretty ancient. Then I have Loved Up as well. Ugh, I'm just gonna get rid of these sleek ones. I just don't think I'll wear them. And then 129 is that lavender, but I've kept one by MAC that is better pigmented than this. It's like really, really sheer, so I'm going to throw that in the garbage as well. Okay, um, Sheen Supreme lipstick. It's kind of similar to some of the like lip butters that I like um, by Aster, so I might use that. Yeah, this color, I won't really wear it, but it's still fairly new, so I can maybe pass that along. Now, these lip butters by Revlon, like, I don't even know if they still make them anymore. Sweet Tart, I think this one, I actually quite like this one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. It's a nice neutral pink. And then this one, Berry Smoothie. I think I might keep those. They're they're nice, and I have actually worn those quite a lot. Gosh Darling, ugh. I think it's time to like I'm not gonna keep stuff just out of sentimentality I remember when I got started in YouTube this was like the rage lipstick that everybody wanted but it's just sentimental value and it's really really old so I think I'm just gonna throw that in the garbage um Josephine's joy but I think I have one by yeah I think I have one by Urban Decay um, the new lipsticks that's exactly like this that's better quality so I think I'm going to get rid of this one and then the P2 I think this is just so old. I think I just have to throw this in the garbage. Um, then I have the Luster. 
I'm gonna keep this, I think, for now, and then I'll see if I use it in the next little while, and if not, I can always get rid of it. Then the Rihanna. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna keep this for Halloween coming up. It's just around the corner. And then tumble dry. I don't think, I, I won't wear this. I'll just pass this along too. And then this one, the Air, or Vintage Pink. Um, it's such a nice mauve color. But I just don't wear these shades anymore. Ugh, I'm just gonna toss this in the garbage. It's old and I just won't wear it. And then this is Black Plum. It's so cool. Like, look how cool that color is coming out of there, but it's just too sheer. It's super sheer and it's super oily. I'm going to pass this. And then this brown tone, I think I might keep this. Cause I think that's kind of a trendy color also for fall. So I'm gonna keep this one by Maybelline. This is all the lip stuff I'm getting rid of. Isn't that crazy? These are all lipsticks. There's a couple palettes in here. So this is all the stuff that I've sorted out. I am so happy, I'm so relieved. Um, this was very necessary. I didn't find this hard at all. So overall, I've gotten rid of over 103 lipsticks, two of which were actually lipstick palettes. So 103 products are gone. I wanted to show you how I've rearranged it. So in this drawer, I have sort of more of my higher end stuff. I have like, um, MAC, Urban Decay, Smashbox, Illamasqua, Bobbi Brown. Then I have all my Clinique stuff over here. And then over here I actually have my favorite drugstore ones, which are the Maybellines. Those are my favorite like drugstore lipsticks. And these are all the lip butters by Aster. I have to go through them if I'm going to keep them on all. I'm not sure yet. Um, but for now, I actually do use these quite a lot in sort of my day-to-day -day life. So, and then I have a lip palette here by MAC that just didn't fit anywhere, so I've got that. And then um, I just have this drawer, um, which I have now rearranged a little bit. So this whole box was full and there was a whole third uh, box, as you guys might remember, but now I just have this box and it's not even all full. So this is actually my liquid lipsticks here and then these are the sort of the rest of the other ones. And then back here, um, I actually have my lip liners. Although I have to like maybe go through those two and like completely sort out my lip liners. I had those in another drawer, but now there's like so much freed up space. I just put them in with my actual lipstick pink and red back here and like maybe some purples. And then this is all nudes and this is like really darker and brown and like really dark lip pencils. So I really hope you enjoyed this lipstick decluttering video. If you did, make sure to first of all, give it a thumbs up and also check out my other purging and decluttering videos that I've done. I have a whole playlist, so click on the eye in the corner of the screen. Um, I'll have it linked there. You can see what other makeup I've purged. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.